take a look at the Third Lizzie song, Wild One. Now it's interesting this one because there's a few different versions, there's obviously live versions of it. There's the studio version uh, from the album, which is tuned down half a step. But what I've based this lesson on is playing it along with when Thin Lizzy mimed it on, uh, I don't know, it was Top of the Pops. But there's a YouTube video of it being played uh, with the band, obviously miming because they're not plugged in. But it's in standard tuning. A link in the description of that version so it makes it a lot easier um, than having to tune down. Especially if you've got a Floyd Rose. The uh, guitar solo on that slightly edited, so we'll look at what's going on in the studio version as well, but we're in standard tuning for this one. And it starts off with this, obviously harmonised, so we're taking the main guitar to be able to play it along with one guitar, and we've got this. So it's based on an E major pentatonic, and we've got the ninth fret, then we're going to hit that four times. So the twelfth of B, and we're going 12, 9, 12, 9. Let that ring. Now I'm going to go, which is 11, 13, 11, which sounds better to me. But you could keep it real simple and instead of playing uh, that 13, you could play the 9th fret of the B. So you could go like that. If you watch the video uh, of when uh, Thin Lizzy are playing this one, uh, you can just about make out where the hand positions are, but there's that much focus of attention on filling it. It's, it's difficult to see exactly where it is. So you're going to play that phrase three times. And then we have this. So... Watch out for the timing of that one when you play it along, because I'm kind of speeding it up a little bit for the sake of the video, but we're kind of pulling off 13, 11 into the ninth, all on the G string. Then 11, 9, 8. And 9, 8, 6. And then slide into the fourth. And that's your, your main hook throughout the song. I've seen guitar tabs online where it's playing it all on the high E string and going down, uh, which would make it easier because if you're going to harmonise it, you start on the ninth of the B and play something very similar. Uh, but we're not going to go into that because that's a, a separate video harmonisation. When it comes to the actual uh, song and the rhythm, we've got E, C sharp minor, and B. <laughs> C sharp minor B and B three times and then on the fourth time it's a C sharp minor B but then I land on the A. Now again if you watch the video of this one being played um, the hand position seems to be just here um, and my guess is what probably happening is it probably could possibly play and be playing the E like that <laughs> Then putting the little finger on there for the C sharp minor. And then the finger like that for a partial B. So you could actually play. Like that. But most people I've seen play it, play it with the, the open A. Watch out for that rhythm if you're a beginner, so you've got that. Like that. 
So when it actually comes to the, the solo now, the solo starts off with that main Then we have this I'll do that again Which is kind of played quite quickly and again it's based on that E major pentatonic we're pulling off 12 to 9 12 to B 9th to high E back to 12 and we're kind of following that same pattern throughout the pentatonic scale shape and then that little so on the D 9, 11, 9. Hear that? We then have this little run. Again, based on E major pentatonic. 9 on the D, 9th the G. Back to that 9th the D, but moving to the 11th the G. Then that 9th the B. To the twelfth of B. Yeah. We then have this run. The way I've written the tabs out for this is just the twelve, eleven, nine, but the little dashes are for you playing each note three times. So you're descending down the E major scale this time. 12, 11, 9. 12, 10, 9 on the B. 11, 9, 8 on G. And then we're going to go to the 6th. 4, 2, 1. 4, 2, 1 on the D. Just go four to open. Like that. That's played quite quickly. Now on the video of them playing it, it's kind of edited the solo, so the studio bit isn't in there, and it just goes straight from that. Uh, like that where on the studio version we have this like trill five I've just written out in simple form of five seven five and we're gonna go Is you count one and two and one and two and three and four 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 and, one and, two and, three and, four and for each trill. Like that. So that's for the solo. Uh, if you're doing the studio version so watch out for the different versions of this one obviously the live version is played differently uh, so the, the, the live version is played differently the studio version the live version is tuned down half a step the studio version tuned down but check out the one that I mentioned of the, the video of them playing it along because it is in standard tuning and it makes it a lot easier to play along with so as always thank you for watching and I hope that's how you'll be able to play Thin Lizzy's Wild One.